Hello everyone, I am Boharar Zuchan, case officer of 2018 batch. Uh, let's discuss the CSAT paper. See, your prelims has two papers. One is the GS paper 1, second is GS paper 2. Now, GS paper 2 is popularly called a CSAT paper, in which you would be having some 80 questions, each of 2.5 marks, and uh, your total marks would be around 200. And uh, this is of qualifying nature only. You have to score just 33% marks. That is uh, some 67 out of uh, 200 marks. So your merit will be decided solely on the basis of paper 1 that is your general studies paper 1 in which you have the traditional general studies subjects. Now see if we broadly uh, discuss the different aspects of your uh, CSAT paper. So it has reading comprehension some 20 to 30 questions then it has uh, reasoning again same number of questions and there will be questions uh, from mathematics as well that is the basic 10th class mathematics uh, that would be having the level of 10th class only so that would be having again same uh, number of questions 20 to 25 questions now uh, what i'll tell you about myself is that uh, i specifically didn't prepare for this paper because uh, i felt like i had good hold over the reasoning and the reading comprehension part so i didn't touch the mathematical section because i felt like i would be qualifying this paper in any case by solving the questions from the reasoning and uh, the reading comprehension part of uh, this paper so I personally didn't refer to any book for this paper. What I did was that I picked up one previous year UPSC question paper and tried to solve the reading comprehension part and the reasoning part from there. Now I was able to solve most of the questions from reasoning and the reading comprehension part. So that's why I didn't pick up any book and I didn't practice much after that. Now see if you ask me the one mantra for this uh, particular paper. So it is practice. The more you practice the more hold you will get over different aspects of this paper. Now I will just tell you one book that uh, people recommend and that I would also recommend you if you want to refer to any book. So that is uh, this book by R.S. Agarwal. So it has hundreds and thousands of the questions on reasoning, particularly the reasoning part. So if you uh, go by this book, so it has uh, different sections from reasoning both verbal and non-verbal. So the first section is the series uh, completion that would be having alphabet series, alphanumeric series as well and numeric uh, series, uh, number series as well. So what I will suggest you is that you pick up this book and uh, go through different chapters of this book. For example, the first chapter is on series completion. Now it has different sub chapters as well like the number series there, alphabet series is there. So number series basically is like they will give you a question like uh, they will give you a number series like 1, 5, 10, 15 and they will tell you that uh, uh, based on the difference among the uh, the mentioned numbers. Now, what do you think will be the next number? Okay, so that is basically what series completion is all about. Now, what I will suggest to you is that you go through this book, pick up first 10 to 15 questions from all of the chapters and all of the sub chapters as well, and try to solve them. If you know unable to solve, the solutions are given here in this book. You can refer to them and see how these questions are being solved. Okay, so you will just get to know that a lot of times there are uh, difference of. Uh, uh, one, two or three among the different numbers that are mentioned are then a lot of times you will see that you have to multiply different numbers in order to get the next number a lot of time you will see that you have to uh, divide and subsequently do other stuff with these numbers and this is how you will complete the series so then uh, second is the coding and decoding like you will be given a code for some particular uh, name and you will be asked to uh, now solve this uh, the code give the code for this particular name now for that what I used to do was that uh, for example they will tell you that uh, A, B, C, D, E is um, uh, code for Arzu. Now tell what is code for Chand. Okay. So accordingly you will see that the common word mentioned in both the uh, names. For example in Arzu there is A, in Chand there is again A. So you will see that what A denotes in the code that they have mentioned and accordingly you will be able to solve the uh, Chand part as well. Then there is uh, another important uh, aspect from your questions that are being asked that is blood relations and uh, in blood relation what I used to do was that I used to relate the relation with myself that yes uh, somebody's maternal uncle of mine and uh, that's how you will ultimately reach to the answer okay so you relate that relation to yourself that if they're asking that somebody's maternal uncle of you uh, you and uh, then somebody is again some other relative of yours so uh, with that you will be able to solve that question very easily if you relate those relations to yourself then there are uh, other aspects like uh, statements and arguments again the answers are given there only so the only mantra that i could deduct from going through these papers is that the more you practice the more uh, easy it would be for you to solve question in the actual examination because there is no set rule 
uh, for solving these reasoning questions and uh, uh, so basically for reasoning part i would suggest you to buy this book by rs agarwal or even if you're not uh, because uh, this is a huge book so it might uh, uh, frighten you a little bit but then i would suggest you that go to the uh, market and buy the previous year upsc question papers and uh, uh, particularly the one in which the question have been solved and solve the question from there if you are not able to do some go to the solution and see how they are being solved there and then come back to the uh, question paper again and solve them and that is how you would be able to get most of the question from reasoning section uh, right then the second part important part is the reading comprehension again there is no particular uh, strategy for solving the reasoning uh, for solving the reading comprehension question because the passage would be given to you and you have to extract question the answer from there but what i used to do was that i used to first read the passage once full passage then i would go to the first question read that keep that in mind and then go back to the passage and read the passage again okay so when you have the first question in mind and uh, you read uh, the passage keeping in mind the first question then you will be able to get uh, extract the answer from the passage easily so this is one strategy that i followed to solve the reading comprehension questions and i was able to do most because uh, because mathematics was not my strong area so i focused more on reading comprehension and reasoning part and they were both for my good areas so i was able to get a good uh, amount of question from both of these sections uh, second part about uh, re uh, reading comprehension is that uh, whatever is written in passage uh, write that as your answer don't ever think that this is factually incorrect okay a lot of times people uh, see that a lot of factually incorrect information is being provided in uh, the passage so they think that this could not be answered but then the direction is that you have to solve your uh, your reading comprehension questions on the basis of passage only so whatever whether it's wrong or it's right in your opinion so you don't have to look over uh, look like that you just have to think that whatever is given in passage is right so solve your uh, your questions based on the passage only don't ever think that this information is factually incorrect so uh, i should not uh, take this as a right option okay so these were some of the things that i thought i should share with you Uh, second is that see uh, there is no competition involved in csat paper because even if some person is scoring 160 out of 200 or you are scoring uh, 67 out of 200 so you both are in the same boat okay so none will benefit any of you so keep this thing in mind that you don't have to compete with anyone you don't have to score uh, 200 out of 200 even if you are scoring 70 marks that's more than enough because your merit will be decided on the basis of paper one only so basically Uh, get hold of the previous year question papers from upsc solve them solve as many questions as possible because this uh, this book by rs agarwal has a lot of questions so that's why i would recommend you to buy this book and uh, or even if you find any other book relevant as per your concern then i would suggest you to go uh, through that and solve as many questions as possible so that's the only thing that will help you in the examination because because there is no set rule for solving these questions there will be one rule in one question and other in other question so basically i personally didn't study this uh, uh, this uh, paper 2 of my uh, prelims because i was having good hold over reading comprehension and the uh, the reasoning part i didn't touch the mathematics section because that was some aspect in which i was weaker so i didn't uh, touch that but uh, i was having good hold over the gs uh, the reasoning and the reading comprehension part so it's basically buy this rs agarwal's book and uh, also get hold over the previous year upsc question papers and solve as many questions as possible that's the only way you will be able to solve the question in the actual examination uh, i might have missed on a lot of other aspects of this paper so if you find any other difficulty please ask in the comment section i'll be happy to help so before leaving please subscribe the channel and also recommend it to your friend thank you so much